Let's get things underway then with our first race, which is the Minimax class. Now, these drivers may be small, but let me tell you, their ambition is just as big as anyone's. Here's the group positions with Jake Sansom. And what a grid. Sebastian Mins and Vin Leslie on the front row. Noah Wolf and Thomas Minspearing from Harry Bartle and Liam Hartley. Josh Graham and Finley Buck. And rounding up the top ten, Jack Thompson alongside Alexander Zingarevich. On the sixth row, it's Will Murphy and Ben Simpson from Charlie Verry and Gabe Cullen. Then Majowskis and Quaker, Smith and Mentia. And then it's Oscar Cartmail alongside Dan Amore. On the 11th row, it's Lewis Goff and Victor Hansen from Mike Walker and Jack West. Then Zach Turner and Matas Mazanskis, Hartley and Sawyers. And then towards the back of the grid, keep an eye on the likes of Tyler Lee and Alexander Reed. They'll be trying to charge their way forward. Ready? Let's go racing around up. And it's a fantastic start. Drivers trying desperately not to get caught up with the front fairings through the first chicane. Here they come as they go through. Oh, Majowskis has accidentally tacked Mentia. And Addison Smith couldn't avoid it. And Sawyers tags the back of Mentia's wheels. As we ride on board with Josh Graham, that's Jack Thompson going on a rodeo outside of McRae's. And up towards Iredales, we are now trying to get away from Liam Hartley as off the road goes one of the Argentes. That was Spearing getting wide out of Iredales as we make our move on Harry Bartle up towards the stewardesses. But Spearing, good recovery from Tom actually. He's managed to get himself into the middle of that little gaggle of drivers without actually losing too much time. So well recovered from Spearing. They come out of Sunny Bend. Now they're going to continue to have this squabble. And out of the final turn, it's Leslie. Then it is Sebastian Mins and the 45 of Noah Wolf. So those three who were at the top end already, they're still making a good impression. That's Alexander Reed getting his move on Dan Hartley as we come up to McRae's for the first time, the second time, sorry, as we have completed the opening lap. But now it's these three, Leslie, Mins, Wolf. They're the only three that have really kept their positions from the start. Warning flags issued there, warning signs on the digiboard for car 65. And 92, Jake, as they go lakeside down to Stuart S's once more. Well, 65 is Jack Thompson, 92 is Jack West. I didn't see what happened to Jack, but Thompson obviously having his little rodeo. I don't know if that's the reason why he's been given a warning, but certainly something has come a cropper for him as the field works its way through Sunny Bend. And even in the middle of the pack, you've got some incredible driving uh, in the gaggle of carts. Remember, you've got about 42 drivers this weekend battling for the 30 six grid slots so there's only a handful of drivers that have been left plumb out of luck you've still got to be in it to win it Finn Leslie set the fastest lap but Josh Graham has now uh, passed that mark so uh, Graham now is the man who set the fastest lap but he's in fourth place currently so doesn't have track position oh, that gr is great uh, battles. Finn Leslie side by side lakeside down to the Stuart S's you'd expect the man on the inside to hold on to that and he does. Well, that was very impressive. I think that's the battle going on there between uh, Finley Buck and Ben Simpson. So they continue on their way through. And out in front, Noah Wolf, for a change, is actually dropping back from the leading two. We don't say that very often. Noah Wolf still sat there in third place, just watching what Leslie and Mins do as Mins gets another fastest lap under his belt, a 49-3 for Sebastian Mins this time. But Noah Wolf is keeping a watching brief for a change. Yes, you, it, it's quite often though, Leslie Mins and Wolf out front in a very big field. It just shows you the quality of those drivers as we've got somebody slowing coming out of the chicane. Still going again, but dropping places. Yes, somebody just overshooting. I wonder if that was Matas Mazanskas just going a little bit too deep in the chicane. And he's now dropped back quite a few positions. Sadly, Luke Sawyer's out of the race. Lizzie Mentia and Addison Smith, who had that first lap incident, by the way, they have managed to get back on the road again and continue. So that is very good news from their point of view. And as they come through at the end of lap four, it's Desley, Mins, Wolf, Graham, Bartle, Hartley, Spearing, Thompson, Buck, and Simpson. And then it is Will Murphy in front of Zan, uh, Zane Quaker, sorry. Zingarevich, Cullen, Majowskis, Amore, Cartmail, Walker, West, and Charlie Berry. Zane Quaker up, I think it's fourth place. I think he started 16th, something like that. So Zane Quaker on the move. And it was indeed Matas Mazanskis that went off at the chicane. And up the inside, Dan Amore, lovely overtaking move there into Iredales as he knits his moment there on Aris Majowskis. So that puts him up into 15th position for the moment. Some good progress being made. Charlie Berry is struggling a little bit. He hasn't quite been able to make the impact uh, on this race, but he's still got plenty of time. 
10 minutes still remaining on the clock in front of me. The battle of a 10th position. And it is a close one. That's Murphy, Quaker, Zingarevich and Cullen all very close together trying to get away from Amor and Majowskis. Looks like Majowskis has actually managed to get back past Dan Amor on that lap. But this is the battle for the lead. And it's still pretty tight after five laps. A little further into the race and you can see that Ben Simpson is now having a great duel with Aris Majowskis. Majowskis getting through. Oh, Simpson has gone into the barriers and I'm afraid he's taken Gabriel Cullen along for the ride. Gabriel Cullen clips his rear wheel. He goes in, his wheel comes off. It looks as though Ben Simpson has got a little bit of pain to his arm there and the race has been stopped. So the red flags have come out here at Raura and that's obviously because of some discomfort. Let's look at it again. Majowskis looks like a perfectly simple overtaking move into McRae's as they go behind Zingarevich. Ben Simpson drifts wide, clips the curb, hits the barrier, pirouettes, Gabriel Cullen nowhere to go, bang! And it actually tears the stub axle off the front of the cart. only come out on the back of the grid, all right? Yeah, yeah. Can you move in? Yeah, just move forward a little bit. This is fascinating. Josh Graham is inquiring about making a repair. He's got a problem. He was in P4 prior to the red flag. He obviously thinks he's got so much of a problem. He'll go from P4 to 30th, back of the field. So he's now he's changing a spark plug. Now that means he's got to start in P30. He is backing his talent to effectively do a Ronnie O'Sullivan of karting. Five minutes 42 on the clock left. He wants to do a Ronnie O'Sullivan, go from 30th to somewhere near the top 10 in just 5 minutes 42. P2 in the championship, don't forget. Well, here we go. Noah Wolf is going to make a move on the restart. He gets into second place. So he's already made the move on Sebastian Mins. So Noah Wolf is into second position. And watch Harry Bartle. He's trying to get himself onto the podium. Liam Hartley is there in fifth place. Lakeside into the Stuart S. Is Finn Leslie has the lead, but Noah Wolf makes an absolute super lunge. The championship leader in front. As here comes Finn Leslie, back on the inside. Wolf, they go wheel to wheel as we watch Josh Graham get back on the inside. He gets past Addison Smith, but the leaders are absolutely squabbling for position now. As now we're going to take on Victor Hansen, who's come through in front. It's Leslie from Mins and Wolf for the moment. Wolf is trying to hang on from Bartle and Hartley as they come through. Goodness me, it's absolute skittles, Arara. Wow, what a fantastic race we've got on here. It's basically a, a, a race over five minutes and 42 seconds with the entire field starting at the restart, line astern. Well, we've got a fantastic trio there battling. That's the Argenti teammates, Murphy, Zigarevich and Majowskis, as Graham slices on the inside of his teammate. That's uh, Matis Mazanskis. So Graham up to 27th now. Addison Smith decides to pick up the overtaking move as well. But look, they're all still squabbling. So Josh Graham having worked his way further forward. He's obviously got a little bit of uh, time still to make up. Here is Finn Leslie in front of Sebastian Mins. Wolf is there in position. And now watch Jack West just flounder as Graham slices his way through on the inside line. Up and over the top. And there's Drizzle again on the camera. We saw this in the early races in the weekend with Micromax. And now we're going to get to see it again here as a big slide on the inside. Middle of the field. Couple of drivers running wide there. It's the Argenti trio again battling away with Lewis Cobb and Michael Walker and it's a spin. And I'm afraid that is a very frustrated Alexander Zingarevich. He spins the cart around as Graham passes the scene, trying to close up on the crop promotion of Reese Owen. As they come down the straight, you can see the spots of rain on the camera lens as he dives in, picks up another place. That's 25th now for Joshua Graham. He really is gunning through the field. Josh made a cheap one up in the hairpin and he'll take as many of those as he can get right now. Well, Noah Wolf is back in his second place. He's managed to make the move on Sebastian Mins. We didn't see it, but now Wolf is through. Up on the inside, another overtaking move. This time it is Dan Hartley. So Graham still making big progress. That's now P23. But as we keep drizzling around the circuit, we're going to see all sorts of badinage. And now we're going to see Noah Wolf trying to shake off Mins and Hartley. Josh Graham picking his moment. Nicely done on the inside there of the 17 of Tyler Lee, who is now going wheel to wheel with Michael Dalton. And now we're going to go alongside Lizzie Mentia. Tyler Lee just holds on in front of Dalton. Graham waits for his moment on Mentia. What a recovery drive she's been having. 
Now the radiator flap is just lifted there, that lowers the engine temperature. You raise it to uh, cool the engine basically. The data locking uh, screen you just saw there fits out with the graphic. That's where it gets all the information from in terms of lap times, engine temperature, all sorts of data that is fed to the drivers. These guys aren't just racing drivers, they're nuclear physicists a little bit further on and Josh Graham gets his move on the inside line and that puts him up in front of Oscar Cartmail up on the curbs, more places made up from Graham. He's not a racing driver, he's a boxer. He's picking up his men as he charges his way back through. What an amazing charge. Three places made up there. He'll be counting them in his mind as he's going past them. That's another three. Where did I start? 30th, that's 27, 26, 25. And this is the kind of thing that can really help Graham out. Look, they're really struggling for grip as they bounce Incredible. their way through. So much, uh, so many drivers desperately trying to find the line or two as Bartle has lost a couple of places there. I was going to say, you can't all get through the S's the way they're going. This is amazing action. This is the drizzle. It's really starting to intensify. Past our teammate, Will Murphy, goes Josh Graham. Now he's tucked up behind another of his teammates. That is Aras Majowskis, who is in the top 10. Can we just point out, that's how far Josh Graham has climbed through the field. He's now in behind Majowskis, who is in 10th place. Last lap, how much more ground can he make up? Incredible, incredible. From 30th in five minutes 42, from 30th to 11th so far. And this is the battle for the lead. Wolf just holding on to second, Minzer in third. The winner is Finn Leslie. He just needs to keep it on the black stuff. Well, that's going to be tricky because obviously they're on slip tyres and the drizzle is coming down. Finn Leslie's got to be so careful on this final lap. Into the stewardesses for the final time. Wolf has got himself in a second with a little bit of breathing space to Minz. And it's hardly Buck Quaker. Graham was in the middle of all of that. My goodness. Graham, Graham seems to have picked up quite a few more places in that. And Quaker's made up 10 places, Jay. He started 16. <laughs> Zane Quaker up to the top six. What a fantastic charge through from both Quaker and Graham. But out of the final turn, Leslie's got it done in front of Wolf and Minns. There's Hartley. Look back. Buck is going to be in front of Quaker. Then it's Goff, Spearing, Bartle and Graham. Josh Graham fights his way back to the top 10. Quaker made up 10 places. Gregor Reed though made up the most. He finished 14th, came back from 30th on the grid. So it's Leslie from Wolf and Minns, Hartley Bucket Quaker, great drive. Goff made up 14, Spearing Bartle and Graham in the top 10. Well, after the restart, it really had it all that one, didn't it? We had a wet track. We had top three drivers there in the championship, all fighting out. But in the finish, well done to all three of those drivers keeping their carts on the track. It ended up, didn't it, with Sebastian Minz, our pole man, coming home in third. Noah Wolf got himself a second, but cart number 26, Finn Leslie, held on for the win. Let's go and catch up with him at the podium. Well, I had a good battle with Leslie, and then Noah, ca Noah Wolf catched up, and then started raining. So it's quite tricky, but yeah. How did that affect you when the rain came in? Uh, I'm quite used to um, having rain in, with slicks on, so it's all right. OK, and decent result for you in the conditions, mm, really. Who do yeah. you want to thank? Uh, I'll thank my mum, my dad, my sister, um, KR, my mechanic, most sport finance. Now, uh, I know you're a serial winner and you've had a great start to the season, a couple of wins, didn't quite get there last time, second place today, but I know you will be thinking it's all about championship points at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, so far I'm leading the championship by good points and hopefully we keep getting more points. OK, and this weekend, who's it all down to? Sam, my mechanic, my mum and dad, all my sponsors and partners and KR and Synergy most. Motorsport. OK, well done. Finn, great win for you here at Raura. Now, a lot of the other drivers are saying they've not been to Raura before. I'm pretty sure you have, haven't you? Yeah, I've done quite a few laps on this track and, yeah, mixed race are quite fast this weekend. So a win, great result. Conditions a little bit difficult in the last minute or two? Yeah, we just needed to make sure we didn't come off the track, really, just make sure we brought it home. OK, and who do you want to thank? Uh, Sam Pollitt, Cream Racing Engines, Send Safely and Raceway Motorsport. Well done. Thank you. Great job from Finn Leslie. And of course now he is only 15 behind Noah Wolf in the championship fight. Sebastian Minns in third. And OK, Josh Graham, fourth in the standings. He may not have officially made up the most places, but 32nd to 10th in 5 minutes 42. He's the Ronnie O'Sullivan of karting. He's got to be everybody's MVP today.